Hey guys, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Hi, welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Las disculpas del caso, si conoce por qué no me dejaba entrar al a Zoom, but I'm here. So thank you very much. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. So just let me go ahead and prepare the class and, and I will share it with you. Y nuevamente las disculpas del caso, solo que en este, si me tocaría eh, eh, terminar la clase hasta las 9.13. Para los que me puedan acompañar hasta las 9.13, pues muchísimas gracias. Pero igual si no puede, pues I, I totally understand, okay? So let me go ahead and um, just share the screen of the presentation for today, okay? Eh, bueno, aprovechando mientras eh, carga la presentación, chicos, solamente recordarles que en el chat les compartí información para que ustedes, bueno, no tanta información, les compartí unos links, ¿ok? I shared with you some links for you to practice um, the topic that we have studied, right? And that is um, going to uh, for future references. And then also, uh, that was the first one, right? Había uno que era sobre eh, la estructura en sí, para que ustedes lo practiquen en, en, en el website. Y luego estaba la segunda, que era eh, un, eh, son unos interactive worksheets. Con las interactive worksheets, chicos, pues ahí nada más recomendarles que eh, funcionan igual que la plataforma. Si usted incluye una mayúscula donde no va mayúscula, va a estar mala. Si usted no incluye un punto donde va un punto, se la va a tomar como mala. Eh, entonces sí, hay que probar verdad. varias Ajá, hay que probar varias veces y tener cuidado para que este no intentarlo varias veces. Hay que fijarse bien qué es lo que está pasando. Sí, uh -huh. eh, tengo una duda. Dígame. Esta semana el horario sería hasta el viernes. No, es de lunes a jueves. En este caso, Rosita, porque comenzamos exactamente el lunes. Es de, llegamos hasta viernes siempre cuando comenzamos un día martes, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso, pues comenzamos un día lunes. Así que no. No, esta sería hasta mañana, jueves. De lunes a jueves. Así es. Sí. You're welcome. Así de que eso, chicos. Si también les compartí two videos, ok, for you to uh, take a look at the structure again. Right? Muy, muy eh, geniales los dos videos. Pues me tomo mi tiempo para escoger bien el material que les voy a mandar. Y pues les mandé ahí unas slides, ¿verdad? Con, con información importante, creo que era el summary, ¿verdad? El resumen de todo lo que habíamos visto con respecto a las fechas y a los números ordinales. Así que, eh, well, that's for you. No es tarea, ¿verdad? Solamente son ejercicios extras para que usted pueda practicar más. Ok, that's what it is. Ok, so this is going to be our session number three, right? Today is March the 3rd, right? And uh, we're going to start, guys. So last uh, class, or uh, in our last session, uh, we started talking about uh, going to, right? And the thing is that we said that it is about plans, it is about intentions, it is about things that uh, we want to practice and that we want to, um, uh, whenever we want to express, I'm sorry, a future reference. That's when we used uh, going to, right? And also uh, yesterday we practiced a little bit uh, with, um, I would say, uh, exercises, right? Because actually yesterday we did um, a, some sections for exercises. And then uh, I'm taking a look at here right now. Estoy viendo la ahorita, okay? And then also we um, uh, used the uh, affirmative, negative, and question form. So they were the three of them right, that uh, we were discussing. Section number one, guys, in section number one, pretty much that's what you have. You have uh, the affirmative, negative, and question form of the um, going to its uh, structure, okay? But besides that, is there something there, um, well, it's like a vocabulary section, I would say, right, regarding some holidays and also a little bit just one section dedicated to the reduction uh, in the pronunciation of going to. I'm going to share that with you in just a moment, okay? No problem. So, well, guys, pretty much that's what we um, studied yesterday, right? Uh, we uh, mentioned also the um, expressions, right? The time expressions that we can use whenever we, uh, we want to express future plans. We said 
we can use tomorrow, you can use tonight, next week, next month, next year, in a few hours, in a few days, by the next week, et cetera, right? So those are some structures that are very necessary, right? So you can convey that meaning, right? Para que se nos comprenda bien ese mensaje. And also we, uh, we said that uh, pretty much what we have to uh, be careful with, right? Is the structure. Uh, por ahí me preguntaban algunos, teacher, pero ¿por qué me sale este mal? Bueno, es porque no, no, no llevamos la secuencia de los elementos, right? So I need my subject, I need my verb be. Right, I need my uh, structure going to, I need my verb in the infinitive form and I need a complement, right? So if I don't have those elements in the right order, the sentence is not correct, right? And whenever we're uh, practicing with the exercises online, that's gonna be wrong, okay? So you have to be careful with that. Just pay attention to the, um, to the structures, okay? I mean, to the elements, I'm sorry, to the elements and you will see that uh, you will be able to convey that meaning. In the negative form, we said that we need the same elements, but the only difference is going to be whenever we have a, um, uh, the verb be, right? The verb be has to be in the negative form, okay? It doesn't have to be in the, in the, in the um, affirmative way. So if you want to express a negative sentence, that's going to be with the negative uh, form of verb be. You can use the full form or you can use the contraction. I can say, I'm not, or uh, I'm sorry, I can say it's not, or I can say isn't. I can say are not or aren't, and both of them will be correct. Then we have going to, right? And um, the verb plus the, infinite, I mean, the verb in the infinitive form and then the complement, right? So that's gonna be the most important thing. And then uh, we talked a little bit about the question form. Okay, and we said that whenever we are talking about the question for, because actually there was a conversation yesterday, right? Let me do this and I'm going to add this and I'm going to go back here, okay? So yesterday, aquí eso no nos quedamos ayer, okay? So yesterday we said uh, through the conversation, right? Because some of you were practicing with the conversation. Uh, we uh, were talking about yes, no questions and also information questions, right? And we said that the structure is going to be the same. Um, there is just one switch, solo hay un switch, ¿verdad? ¿Y cuál es ese switch? Well, that switch is going to be in the verb be, right? It's going to be in the verb be because we're not going to be um, uh, starting with the subject, but we're going to uh, start with the verb be, right? So are you going to do anything special for Valentine's? Yes, I am, or no, I am not, right? That's gonna be a yes, no question, ¿verdad? Y esa es la estructura que vamos a seguir. Pero si es information questions, we, I mean, information question, I'm sorry, it is going to be with the WH word or the WH phrase at the beginning, and then the rest is going to be the same as a yes, no question. Continúa igual, ¿verdad? Como las demás, okay? Así que that's gonna be for, um, yesterday's review. Um, there is a section here, quizás esto lo voy a dejar para más adelante, me gustaría más quizás enfocarme en la parte de, en la parte de la sección que me falta todavía. Ok, acá, ok. And, acá. So, in the first section, there is a special, um, I would say, um, activity, right? And those little, uh, you know, um, I would say sections are called snapshots, snapshots. So it's a little bit about the holidays in the United States. And let's go ahead and see how much you know, right? So you got New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, right? Which is in January 1st, okay? ¿Cómo le llamamos a esa celebración nosotros en El Salvador? Año Nuevo. Año Nuevo, exactly, right? O víspera de año nuevo, decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? In an English, it's New Year's uh, Eve or New Year's Day. Exactly. Thank you very much. Then, it's, good. it's the same day. It's January 1st. And then, but what do people do? What do people do for New Year's Eve? ¿Qué hace la gente para la víspera de año nuevo? What do they do? What do we do in El Salvador? Pasarlo con la familia. And how do you say that in English? 
How do you say pasar tiempo con la familia? Celebration. We say spend, right? Spend time with Hi. the family. Okay, we spend time with the family. O por ahí decían, we celebrate, right? We celebrate with the family. We eat chicken. Okay, we eat chicken, right? That's true. We eat chicken. Okay, what else do we do? Oh, um, we go to the beach. Okay, generally people generally people go to the beach um January first. Okay, what else? Enjoy we dance. Oh, that's true. Well, no, yo no, pero we danced a lot in El Salvador. ¿Qué bailamos, chicos? Cumbia. Excellent. Yo no bailo, pero me encanta la cumbia. Ok. Cumbia, pero la cumbia de los años allá, cuando estaba pequeña, ¿verdad? La clásica, ok. So we danced a lot in El Salvador, right? Uh, we danced cumbia, right? In my case, I don't dance, right? I like to listen to cumbia when I'm cooking on weekends, right? That reminds me of my, of my grandmother and when I was a child. Me recuerda a mi niñez y a mi abuela, right? When I'm, when I'm cooking on the weekends, I like to listen to cumbia. Okay, bueno, no lo hago seguido. It's just when I remember, right? Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Um, we have the second celebration of the year, okay, and that is Valentine's Day. And how do we call that celebration in El Salvador? ¿Cómo le llamamos en El Salvador? Um, Actually, we call it different ways, right? We call it Dia del Amor y la Amistad, Dia del Amor, eh, Dia de San Valentín, etc. So, well, but what do people do in El Salvador on uh, Valentine or for Valentine's Day? What do we do? Some couple go to have a dinner. Okay, very good. Excellent. Some couples have a special dinner, right? Um, that's true. That's very, very popular in El Salvador. What else do we do? ¿Qué más hacemos? What else do we do for Valentine's Day? Teacher, no sé si está bien. Sería give flowers o regalar flores. Oh, you give away flowers. Okay, you give away Flowers. Um, también and also give, give that regalos. Yeah, give. flowers and presents, right? Flowers and presents, regalos, okay? What else do we do? ¿Qué más hacemos? Go out with give and? chocolate. Okay, we go out with friends. And we eat and share. Share is compartir. We give it, we eat and share chocolates, right? Some people play, sería como secret friend. Uh -huh. Secret friend? Yeah, sí, secret friend. Secret friend. Now, si es Navidad, ¿cómo le llamamos? We call, we call it secret Santa, right? Secret Santa es para Navidad, el amigo secreto de navideño. Secret Santa, secret friend. Okay, very good. Now, what, what about Independence Day? Bueno, pero a todas estas, chicos. New Year's Day, what is the day for New Year's Day? New Year's Day is on... January, January 1st. January, January 1st. 1st. Okay. Oh, what about Valentine's oh. Day? Oh, on February 14th. 14th. Very good. It's on February the 14th. And what about Independence Day? Here is on September 15th. Excellent. Here is on September 15th, but in the United States is on July 4th. Fourth. Very good. Excellent. Now, what do we do in El Salvador for Independence Day? What do we do? September. Mm -hmm. 
desfiles, no sé cómo se dice desfiles. Ok, very good actually. We celebrate, celebrate um, independence, right? Independence with parades. Parades, ok. Desfiles son parades, ok. Over a parade, right? Parade. But uh, desfiles. What else? What else do we do? ¿Qué más uh, hacemos? Score dancing for God. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you said, Rosita. No escuché lo que me dijo. Can you repeat, uh, please? Score in high school um, dancing for God. La última parte es la que no la escuché, ¿ok? So, you said school and, and people, uh, students in high school, pero la última parte es no la escuché. Tal vez si me lo dijiste ahí, por favor. Dancing floor tour. Ah, ok, ok. They dance. Typical, um, typical, like, how can I say that? Choreography or... Um, how do you say England? I'm sorry? England. How, how, how do you say himno nacional? Oh, national anthem. National. Oh, we sing national anthem. That is correct. Okay, we sing the national anthem. Excellent. That is for okay. January the 15th. And what about Halloween? Dígame. No, esto era el de. No, anterior. dígame, dígame, dígame. Un ejemplo sería a minute of silence for the. Fire, eh, sería un minuto de silencio por los caídos. <laughs> ok, let me no see. Sé. Uh, a minute of silence for... Uh, es que creo que se llama respect. Pero ya se lo voy a averiguar, permítame. Solo voy a, voy a, eh, a corroborar la... Eh, si hemos escrito bien esto. Sí, es National Anthem. Ok. Y... To pay respects, creo que sería to pay res, respect, respect to um, vaya, fíjense que cuando nosotros decimos un minuto de silencio en inglés, yo sé que es así, to, to pay respect to someone, pero Exactamente la frase que usted me está diciendo, si no sabría cómo decirlo, pero se lo voy a averiguar si gusta. Ok. Se lo voy a apuntar. Gracias. Así. Permítame, solo lo estoy anotando. Eh... Okay, then uh, what about Halloween, uh, October 31st? What about Halloween? Do we celebrate Halloween in El Salvador? Yes. Actually, yeah. we do, exactly. No, actually. teacher. Well, in my case, it's a normal day. Okay, for some of us, it is a normal day, right? But generally, uh, some people, they um, have like a party, right? Hi, Marilyn. Yes. Hasta hoy la veo, Marilyn. Ok. No, aquí he estado. Lo que pasa es que no había activado la cámara, por eso es que no la había visto. Hi. Yes, sure. teacher. Sure. On Halloween, some people uh, wear costumes. Exactly, right? They wear costumes, right? Some people wear costumes, right? Costumes for Halloween. That's true, right? Some people wear costumes, right? Son eh, disfraces, right? So what else? What else do we do? Bueno, we, I remember, uh -huh, go ahead. We give uh, candies. Okay, actually, some kids, they go um, treat, treat or trick, right? That's how we, they called it in English, right? Kids go treat. Okay, van a pedir dulces, right? We give candies. We give candies or sweets, ¿verdad? Cualquiera de los dos. 
que ya puede ser candies or sweets to children. Okay, very good. That's what we do. Excellent. Uh, what about the next one? Do we celebrate Thanksgiving in El Salvador, guys? No, no teacher. No, actually, no, teacher. okay. Yes. Some of uh, some people they do it. Okay, some people they do it. Not everyone, but in my case, it's a very special date, right? No es una celebración nuestra. Para mí, quizás el significado es bien, bien bonito. It's very important. And what do we celebrate for uh, for uh, Thanksgiving? What do we celebrate on Thanksgiving? I'm sorry. What do we celebrate? ¿Qué se celebra en Thanksgiving? ¿Alguien sabe? Mm, dar gracias por okay. el de abundancia que han tenido. Exactly. Yes, that's true. Actually, we, uh, it's like, we thank, right? We thank uh, for all the things that we have received, for all the blessings, for... Uh, well, actually, it comes from a very, uh, you know, old story, right, from, um, you know, the native people that arrived to North America, right, and that uh, encounter, right, between um, uh, native uh, people and the people that arrived from other, uh, other countries, right, to that new land, and then they have, they celebrate the harvest, right, and that's how we have this celebration. Dígame. Dígame, Paula. No, perdón, toqué aquí. No, no. Ah, okay, no sé dígame. cómo bajar la mano. No sé. Dígame, dígame Esmeralda. Eh, teacher, es como la acción de, ¿cómo se le dicen? Acción Día de, de gracia, ¿verdad? Lo que es acción, acción de, de gracia. gracia. Uh -huh. Bueno, Exacto. y acá en El Salvador el, el, también está el 2 de noviembre, que es el Día de los Difuntos, sería. <risa> Ajá, no sé. exactly. Pero tiene un significado completamente sí, no, no. Uh -huh. sí. But yes, actually we have uh, that celebration in the United States. Actually, they consider it as, you know, a very important celebration. It is even more important than Christmas, right? Uh, the four, I mean, that's the fourth Thursday in November. So jueves de noviembre, okay? And then the last one, the last one I have Christmas. Uh, how do we celebrate Christmas in El Salvador, guys? What do we do? Uh, we, we have a special dinner, dinner in family, family. Okay. Um, and the chicken. Okay, exactly. We have a special oh. dinner with the family, right? And generally, we have chicken, or sometimes we have turkey, right? Uh, well, in my case, I have probably three years that I just haven't been able to cook, you know, meat. No, no es que sea vegetariana, pero no como, no como, no como, no consumo yeah. carne, ¿verdad? Sino que allá una vez a las, uh, a los dos meses como un pedacito de carne. Yeah. Actually, I don't eat that much meat. But yes, uh, for uh, Christmas, if you are, uh, if you eat uh, meat, right, you prepare chicken, you prepare turkey, you prepare beef, right, que es la carne de res, or you prefer pork, que es la carne de cerdo, right? And, but if you, if you don't eat, you can prefer something else, right? For Some example- Some people use fireworks. Fireworks, exactly, right? So actually, they, uh, some people do that, and that's uh, kind of nice, because it's like, uh, whenever you have the chance to uh, celebrate it in that way, it's okay, right? But that's money, <laughs> that's money too, okay? Así que, pero sí, es cierto. So that's a little bit of the holidays in the United States, as you can see. Those are, I would say, common holidays that we can have in other countries, like in El Salvador. Well, with the only exception of Thanksgiving, which is a very um, North American celebration, right? We do not do it here. Some people do it, ¿verdad? Pero creo que Thanksgiving tendría que ser todos los días, ¿verdad? Acción de gracias todos los días. Okay, so down below you have an example. It says Valentine's Day is going to be on February the 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Si ustedes se fijan en la plataforma, cada vez que hay un video abajo el instructor les da como 
la oportunidad de que ustedes participen también. Entonces, al, al ingresar al video y al verlo, ¿verdad? Usted puede eh, como armar sus propias oraciones utilizando cualquiera de esos holidays, right? And you can make up a sentence like the one the instructor showed you. And then you can add that sentence to the uh, comments um, down below the, the video, right? Uh, sí, sí, Fernando, we can write Christmas like that. Es informal, pero sí se puede, bien común, es bien común este, eh, reducirlo así. No hay problema. Then, guys, we have eh, a little bit of the pronunciation in reduction of going to, right? Generalmente, pues, hay como una sección de, ¿cómo le podría llamar? Una sección de pronunciación, ¿verdad? Con respecto a, a la pronunciación de ciertos eh, elementos, ¿verdad? En este caso, pues, es una contracción, ¿verdad? Que, o... Pues no puede ser tal vez una contracción, puede ser algo distinto. Ya vamos a ver más adelante con didn't, ¿verdad? Que también hay cierto como cierta reducción en la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Veamos. Give me one second, it's loading, está cargando. I don't know what happened today, guys, pero sí siento que Zoom no me respondió así como muy rápido, como los otros días lo había hecho, así que eh, sí, ya lo hice, Roberto. <laughs> ya sabe. Thank you, Roberto. I don't know what happens. Bueno, chicos, it's loading. Eh, mientras carga, ¿verdad? Solamente eh, preguntarle si tienen pues alguna sección en la que hayan trabajado y en la que hay alguna pregunta, chicos. Justamente en esta, teacher, eh, eh, la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Es eh, gonna o gonna. It, well, it depends. Quisiera poner primero el, el listening, ¿verdad? Que lo escuchemos directamente de, de la persona, ¿verdad? And then uh, I'm, I'm, going to, um, I'm going to give my opinion. Give me one moment. Let me see. Eh, aquí está, pronunciation of reduction. So I'm going to stop sharing here. Voy a parar de, de compartir acá y luego voy a compartir la, no, acá, el sitio, ¿ok? So, can you see the platform? Yes, teacher. Very yes, good, teacher. thank you. Thank you. Okay. So actually, guys, um, it, well, I'm going to play the video just so let me make sure that I'm going to be sharing the, the sound. Y tal vez si los demás pueden silenciar sus micrófonos, por favor. Can you hear me, guys? Yes. 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 Yo casi no les escucho. No, que se me escucha cortado. And this is because there are many exceptions to rules that we may mention. The best way to learn pronunciation is by listening carefully and repeating. Today's topic is quite universal and if you watch your favorite TV program in English, you'll hear gonna instead of going to. So I would like for you to do just that. Watch your favorite TV program in English and pay attention to how going to is pronounced. Okay. Actually, the question that um, Roberto had is if it is gonna or gonna. Actually, it's gonna, right? If you see, um, let me play it one more time. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to say pronunciation. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So, one moment. Okay. Ahí está. Tuve que cerrar la, la plataforma. Creo que eso era lo que estaba haciendo la interferencia. Okay. So, actually, it's gonna, right? 
I'm going to re you reduce it to gonna, gonna, right? No, uh, no sé, Roberto, ¿cuáles eran las dos pronunciaciones que usted me había mencionado? Es que eh, a veces escuchaba eh, como que decía gana, o sea, con, con una, como una, una un a. Poco, ajá, o, o una e como intermedia ahí, no sé, pero creo que sí, ahora que usted lo explica, es gonna, ¿no? It's gonna, ajá, uh -huh, gonna. If you see, ahí está el símbolo, ¿verdad? That symbol, it's uh, like, oh, gonna, gonna. It's here. I'm gonna, yes? Here. It's informal to say gonna? Yes, it is. It is informal, but I mean, whenever you're talking, you can use it. Uh, siempre recuerden lo que les había comentado. Si es speaking, ¿verdad? Si es para expresar algo que usted quiere decir, no hay ningún problema. You can use gonna. Yo en mi caso no, no estoy acostumbrado a utilizarlo así. No me van a escuchar decir gonna, right? So I'm going to say I'm going to. Pero sí, si usted lo quiere utilizar, no hay ningún problema. Pero si es informal. Okay. You're welcome. Alguien más me va a preguntar algo. ¿En qué ocasión es a informal form and going to is a formal? Exactly. Okay. Uh, going to it's like a formal way to say it, and gonna that's that would be an informal way to say. It. Dígame, Rosita. ¿En qué ocasión se puede usar el gonna? ¿En qué ocasión se puede usar el going to? No, en este caso, Rosita, lo que le acaba de comentar a, a Marilyn, ¿verdad? Es, usted lo puede utilizar cuando usted quiera, solo que es informal. No importa la situación. Por supuesto, yo no le recomendaría utilizarlo si está en medio de una entrevista, ¿verdad? Yo no utilizaría gonna in an interview, so I would say I would use going to. Porque esa es la única diferencia, que going to es formal y gonna es informal. Pero lo puede utilizar cuando usted quiera. Solo usted considera cuándo es que es apropiado hacerlo. Uh -huh. ¿Contesto su pregunta, Rosita? Sí. Ok, very good, thank you. And, well, guys, eh, pero, 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 dígame. Entonces, si uno va a utilizar el gonna, ¿cómo se decía la oración? Are you gonna have a party? ¿Cómo era la oración? Exactly. El going to, ¿verdad? Eh, es lo único que se, que se reduce a gonna. ¿Verdad? I'm, oh. gonna, uh -huh. I'm gonna visit my grandparents on the weekend or I'm gonna eat cake tomorrow, or I'm gonna um, what, uh, do the homework uh, on Friday, right? So it's the same, pero solo es el going to. El going to se convierte en gonna. Okay, yeah. you're welcome, very good. ¿Alguna otra pregunta, chicos? Igual. Eh, se les, así como les dije el primer día, recuerden, si tienen preguntas, guárdenlas, anótenlas y las traen acá a la clase. Igual, si me escriben durante el día, pues yo trato de buscar un momento, pero la verdad es que sí, trabajo y ya salgo un poco tarde, ¿verdad?, del trabajo. Pero igual, si yo tengo un momentito para contestarles, pues ahí aprovecho en algún break o algún momento que yo puedo y yo les contesto. Pero igual, lo, lo ideal sería que las anoten y las traigan acá para la clase para que podamos resolverlas. Si aún no tienen, pues no hay problema, pero igual si tienen preguntas, las anotan y, y las traen acá, ¿ok? So uh, then, guys, there is one um, one short section in the in the in the same section number one. Uh, it says word power for special occasions, right? So there you have some activities, okay? And um, let me see, um, uh, Roberto, can you please read the different uh, the different activities that we have uh, in the pink <coughs> section? Okay, teacher. Please. Mm -hmm. Send cards, give presents, take pictures, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat a special food. Okay, thank you very much. Just give me one moment. Uh... Perdón, no había leído su comentario, sus, sus uh, mensajes, chicos, hasta ahorita. Perdón si a saber qué sucedió. 
um, creo que fue la, la plataforma la que hacía la interferencia, por eso no me escuchaban. Thank you very much, Roberto. Okay, so those are activities, right, um, that Roberto just read related to special occasions, right? Special occasions like Mother's Day, Father's Day, uh, graduation, wedding, and anniversary. Okay, so for example, if I have Mother's Day, if I have Mother's Day guide, so what do you think uh, are some of the, um, I would say, uh, activities that I could do? Can you please type them in the chat? ¿Las pueden escribir en el chat, por favor? If it is um, Mother's Day, what activities, okay, what activities can we include for that celebration? Please go to the chat and share them with me. Mother's Day. For Mother's Day, well, in my case, probably, uh, dice Veronica give presents, okay, very good. Dice Roberto uh, on other, uh, we can eat special food, okay, <clears throat> very good. We can eat special food, okay, give presents, okay. Uh, take pictures, dice Marilyn, sí, también es cierto, hay que tomar una, una foto con la mamita, right, okay. In my case, get presents. Well, actually, in my family, there is a tradition, and generally we eat, we eat, I'm sorry, we eat cake, okay? We eat cake, and um, yeah, pretty much that's it. Presents, probably no. We do not get presents. Uh, uh, well, we, we leave that for birthday, but generally for Mother's Day, we have special food, and we have cake. Uh, okay, you give flowers, that's true. Okay, very good, excellent, thank you. What about for Father's Day? On Father's Day, what do we do? What do we generally do? Or what, what do you do in your case, right? So for Father's Day celebration. Let me see, it says get presents. Okay, we eat special food, says Fernando, okay. Very good. We get presents and eat out. Okay, very good to eat out. You know, I, I would love to eat out, but the problem with eating out is that on Father's Day and Mother's Day, restaurants are full. They are very crowded, right? And there's no room, right? And you have to wait for the table, etc. You sing songs, right, Jose David? Okay, we eat cakes, it's uh, uh, Miletis, right? I give, I give presents and eat special food, okay? In our case, it's the same situation for Father's Day. We eat cake and we eat special food, as well. okay? Okay, on Father's Day, we give out presents and go out to have lunch or dinner. Excellent, thank you, Roberto. What about for a graduation, guys? What do you think is suitable, okay, from the activities that we have there for a um, celebration on that special day? Or graduation. Graduation, you have a party and you dance, says Jose David. Okay, for you take photos. That's true, Carmen. You take pictures, okay? Well, in my case, I don't have you know that many. We send cars and get presents to the graduate to the grad to the graduate. That's true, okay? To the graduated person, right? Excellent. What about, what about wedding, guys? What about wedding? Go out with friends after the party, says Carmen, okay? What about for a wedding, guys? What, what do we do on a wedding day? On a wedding day? Well, it depends, right? It depends on your budget, okay? It depends on your budget. We are going to eat cake, says Rosita, okay? Yes, actually, whenever you have a wedding, you eat cake. En la mía no hubo, right? There was no cake. But generally, if you go to a wedding, you eat cake. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Okay, we get presents, we dance at the party, and eat cake. Okay, that's like a summary, right, Roberto, on the, on, on the wedding. And then eat cake, says, eat special food. Okay, very good. Thank you, guys. And the last one, anniversary. It doesn't matter if you're married or not, but what do you generally eat for an anniversary? What do you what do you generally do right on that date? Let me let me see your answers. Okay, eat special food. That's true. 
You have a party, says Jose David. Okay, very good. You give presents. Excellent. You take pictures. That one, uh, we do it. Uh-huh. We take a picture of ourselves. It okay, get presents, take picture, you dance. Okay, very good. My wife and I go out to have a special dinner. Okay, actually, I like that one too, right? And uh, give a present. Okay, get presents, get presents. Excellent, guys. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So let me know, guys, what are your plans for this vacation, okay? Con esto voy a hacer un wrap up, okay, de lo que hemos visto, right? And I want you to share with the class, the chat, that's okay. If you want to say it here, that's okay. Just remember to raise your hand if you want to participate. So what are your plans for this vacation? What are you going to do, guys? ¿Qué van a hacer? Cuéntenme. If you want to participate, raise your hand and you can tell me your sentence. Or you can go to the chat and you can type your sentences, okay? Tell me. Okay, go ahead, Arnulfo. In my case, um, I am going I am going to to the beach with my friend in okay. vacation. On vacation, on vacation. Okay. Very good. Excellent, very good. So you're going to go to the beach. Okay, excellent. Nelly, what about you? What are you going to do? Nelly? Bueno, quizás se levantó la mano sin querer. Carlos, tell me, what are you going to do for, for um, this coming vacation? Uh, I am going to uh, spend time with my family. You're going to spend time with your family. Very good, excellent, good job. What about, oh well, just let me read the ones from the chat. Lorena says that she's going to go to the beach. And also Carmen uh, says, I'm going to go out with my family, she says. And Jose David says, I'm going to Caluco with my family and drink hand soup. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, well, what about the rest? What about the rest? Who's going to, to share your plans for this coming vacation? So Roberto, tell me. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Um, we are going to go to the church and we are going to go to the beach. Excellent, very good. So you're going to uh, spend time, you know, in different ways, right? Excellent. So you're going to go to church and then you're going to go to the beach, you said, Roberto? Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank going... you very much. Very good. What about the rest? Uh, someone else who wants to participate? No Sorry, one? teacher. Dígame, Nelly. Uh, I am going to a family uh, in house. I'm going to, I'm going to what? El verbo si no lo, no lo dijo, perdón. I go, I go to, I going, I am going to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vacation, family. Okay, I'm going to spend time with my family on vacation, right? I'm going to spend time with my family on vacation. Thank you very much, Nelly. Muy amable, thank you. Thank Luego, you. you're welcome. Dígame. ¿Quién dijo teacher? Perdón, es que veo tres más, pero no sé quién dijo teacher. ¿Es usted, Arnulfo? Sí. Dígame. Dígame, Arnulfo. Uh, what are your plans for this vacation? My, my plans. Yes. Oh, well, actually, I'm going to sue. Tengo okay. unos proyectos de costura, ajá, que quisiera, quisiera okay. dedicarles esos días. I'm going to sue, and probably I'm going to do some cleaning, right? I need to organize some of the things here and I'm going to spend time with my family too. Probably those are the, the three main things. I love cooking, so probably I'm going to invent a little bit, you know, uh, in the kitchen and I'm going to invent in the kitchen. I'm going to do some cleaning. I'm going to sew. So those are my plans, okay? 
And yeah, actually that. And what about Harrison? Tiene la manita levantada, Harrison. So tell me. Yes, teacher. Uh, I'm going to visit my family in Osulután and I'm going to go to the beach with them. Okay, with them. With them. Very okay. good. Excellent. Me ladies? Me ladies, me escucha? Mm. I'm going to go to the beach with my family. Excellent, very good. Ya veo que going to the beach is going to be a very, um, well, the, the, I would say the most popular, you know, activity for vacation or on vacation. Rosita, what about you? Rosita? I go to the beach uh, with my family and also um, I go to visit my grandfather. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. very good. Excellent. You're going to dedicate some time for you, but also some time for your grandfather, and that's very lovely. And luego dice acá en el chat, I'm going to visit La Palma, Chalatenango, says Maria Espinosa. Wow, that sounds amazing. And then Jennifer Urquiza says, me and my family, we are going, well, me and my family are, ahí me faltó el are, ¿verdad? Me and my family are going to visit the church because it's Eastern, right? It's Eastern, o Pascua le llamamos, ¿verdad? Very good. Now, guys, thank you for your answers. Thank you for participating, okay? Uh, now, at the last uh, section, at the last part of the section, the, uh, we have a reading, right? It's a section. And it, the, the name of the, of the article is, what are you going to do on your birthday? What are you going to do on your birthday? So I would like to ask for volunteers, okay, to read uh, the information that we have in, on the slide. So Rosa... Eh, Verónica, Roberto, and Carlos. Hasta ahí me quedo. I'm sorry. Okay, so Rosa, you're going to start with number one. Verónica with number two. Roberto with number three. Y Carlos with number four. Okay. Eh, Elena sería en este caso Rosita. Verónica sería Jan Shin, que está en Taipei. Roberto eh, con Mr. and Mrs. Ayoki in Kyoto. And Carlos Crespi. Okay. So, can you hear me, guys? Yes. Very yes. good. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Okay, so comencemos entonces con Rosita, por favor. Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 23rd birthday is on Saturday, and I am going to go with some friends to which my me I am happy birthday. They are going to to pool. To, Pool. On my R21 side, once for age, there is an uh, old, old discount. Custom. Custom. Some people fall on the ear than once, but my friends are very traditional. Oh, very traditional. Well, I understand it's like when you do something like this, alar la oreja, right? That's what I understand. I don't know. It says that it's a tradition in Madrid, right? Spain. Well, actually, I wouldn't like that, okay? Creo que dolería mucho, would hurt. <clears throat> what about number two? Uh, Veronica? Jan hey. Shin. Mm -hmm. Jan Shin. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I probably going to get some money and look it and be look from my relative. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are are from a long life. For a long life. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Veronica Roberto, please help me with Mr. and Mrs. Ayoki. Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Ayoki Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow in Japan. The 60th birthday is called Kan Kanreki. Yes? Yeah, Kanreki. Right? Mm -hmm. Kanreki? It's the beginning of the new life. 
the color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Excellent, thank you very much. Okay, that's in Kyoto, right? That's uh, when you uh, celebrate your 60th birthday, okay? Carlos, can you please help me with the last one? With the last one, Philippe Jolie in Paris. Philippe Jolie in Paris. I mean, it's Paris, be... it's Paris, but I will say, uh, Jolie, Jolie intenté en mi humilde French, ¿verdad? But it's Paris, in Paris, uh huh. Paris, okay, okay. I'm going to be 30 next week, so. I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner in France. And when you have a birthday, you often invite people out in some countries. I know it's the opposite people take um, very out. Take you out. Okay, very good. Thank, Thank you. you very much. So uh, probably what I'm going to do is to point down some words, right? Uh, let me see. Once, in the primera, that once for each year, right? Custom, custom, or costumbre, right? Custom. In the second reading, um, I think it, it was okay. 16th, six, 16th, 16th, right? And then very good pronunciation with cer ceremony, right? And then... Um, also invite, invite, right, actually, uh, you invite people and opposite, right, opposite, excellent, very good. Now guys, uh, from this activity, there is a section for you, to com uh, for you to complete, right, based on the reading, okay, some questions or to complete some exercises, but so far, guys, do you have any questions about the vocabulary from the reading? Questions about the vocabulary? No questions del vocabulario. Todas las palabras están claras. Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. Excellent, guys. So I still have some minutes, and I would like to. Bueno, para los que se iban a quedar conmigo eh, durante la clase completa, porque voy a terminar alrededor de las nueve con trece. Eh, probably what I'm going to do is that I'm going to introduce the new unit. I mean, the, not the new unit, I'm sorry, the new section, which is the section number two. Tomorrow, we're going to have some time to complete it. Probablemente la sección uno nos tomó más tiempo porque es ahí donde venía the, 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 um, the grammar focus, right? So that was like the main point. And I think that's been understood, right? And now we're going to move to the second section. Now in the second section, um, there are different topics, but the very first thing that you're able to find um, is uh, vocabulary about parts of the body, right? So it says, uh, by the end of this lesson, or by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body, okay? So the very first thing that comes up, it was, I'm sorry if you weren't able to read it from there, I just did my best. Hice lo mejor que pude con la imagen. But uh, what I'm going to do probably is that very quickly, we're going to check, right, the, um, the words, okay? So in the very first section, we got the following uh, words. We got head, we got, we got eye, right? We got ear, and we got nose, right? So you got your head, right? You got your eye, your ear, which is, down this thing, right? Your ear and you got your nose, right? And then on the front part of your head, right? You got your mouth, right? You got your tooth. Now tooth is singular, okay? And then teeth is plural, okay? So uh, mouth, I mean tooth is singular and teeth is plural. Can you hear me guys? Yes, Me escuchan bien? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, the thing is that I was able to hear you very well, but thank you very much. So, and then, um, so that is the, the front part of your face. And then down below this, uh, this section of your face, you got your sheen, right? Okay, so this is your sheen, this section over here. And after that, you go to this section of your body, right? You got your back, right? Que es la espalda, 
you got your shoulder, right? Su hombro. You got your chest, right? Que es la parte frontal, ¿verdad? La parte del pecho. Y luego you got stomach, right? Stomach. Now, stomach. Whenever you see CH, no es stomach, right? It's stomach. Esa H is silent. The H, oops. The H sound is silent. Es mudo. Okay, so stomach, right? Or headache. No decimos headache, right? It's headache, right? So uh, stomach, then we got um, your throat, right? This is your throat, su garganta. Throat, right? Uh, let me see if I'm typing it correctly. I'm um, sorry, I'm missing. Yeah, throat, your throat, and your neck, right? Su cuello, your neck. Okay, then also you got your wrist, okay, o la muñeca, right, wrist. Okay, then you got your arm, okay, el brazo. You got your elbow, que es esta parte de acá, ¿verdad? This is your elbow, el codo, your elbow. You got your thumb, this is your thumb, right? Por eso en los videos siempre dice thumbs up, ¿verdad? Los... Eh, ¿Cuál es este? Perdón, este ya se me olvidó el nombre de este en español. Thumb. Pulgar. Pulgar. Y yo estaba pulgar, es pulgar, no pulgar. Sí, gracias. Thank you very much. Es pulgar, ¿verdad? Your thumb. Then you got your hand, su mano, and you got fingers. Now, en la mano es donde tenemos fingers, porque en los pies, ¿verdad? Tenemos toes. Tenemos deditos, pero ya no son fingers, sino que son toes, ¿ok? Eh, luego tenemos, eh, quiero ver, leg, su pierna, ¿verdad? Knee, rodilla, and ankle. Se parece a tío la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Ankle. Su... Eh, Tobillo. Oh my goodness, to be you. Thank you. In English, I, I, could, I could recognize them, but se me olvidaron. Ay, la teacher, me lo olvido en español. Veamos, food, que es, en esta parte, chicos, food es singular. Y feet es plural, ok. Y ahí está abajo, ¿verdad? Que toe es singular y toes ya es plural. Ok, so remember, fingers are the ones you have on your hands and toes, the ones that you have um. I mean, in your feet, right? So that's the vocabulary. And I'm going to read it very quickly, right? So, sin activar su micrófono, solo para usted, ¿verdad? Solo lo voy a leer así rapidito. You got your head, eye, ear, nose, mouth, two, well, in this case is tooth, one, or teeth, the plural one. You got your chin, right? You got your wrist, your arm, and your elbow, right? This section over here is your elbow. You got your throat, right? La garganta, your throat. You got your neck, okay? You got your back, okay? La espalda. Your shoulder, okay? Your shoulder. Your chest, which is this section. Esa parte de acá del nuestro tronco, ¿verdad? La parte del pecho. You got your stomach, right? Thumb. Your hand. Your fingers. Right, and then you got your leg, okay, uh, your knee, la rodilla, okay, ankle, que es el tobillo, and then you got your foot, which is one, and feet, sing, I mean, it's plural, ¿verdad? Pie, y pues el plural, ¿verdad? Feet, and then you got your toes, okay, so that's a little bit of what we're going to review tomorrow, guys, y pues ya es hora, I'm sorry that I took you a couple of minutes, but thank you very much, guys, for joining. Y pues igual mañana les seguiré compartiendo más información al respecto. Cualquier cosa la apuntan, cualquier duda la apuntan y la traen acá a la clase para que la podamos resolver. Dígame, Roberto, tenía una pregunta. No, 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 teacher. Ah, vaya, no. es que como tenía la manita arriba. Perdón. Vaya, chicos, thank you very much. Muchísimas gracias por su comprensión y lamento thank mucho la tardanza. Teacher. Así que I'll see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Have a good evening. Thank you. Okay. See you tomorrow, good teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye-bye.